moving students and closing schools. Those are some of the changes coming to Muskegon Public Schools. Tonight we have new information on a major realignment for the district. 13 on your side's Amara Boss is here with the details. Yeah, Juliet, the changes are not yet final, but all options point to multiple schools closing. District leaders say these adjustments are necessary because over the years the student count in Muskegon has dropped by 50%. You know, parents have big decisions to make for their kids. And those decisions have been affecting enrollment at Muskegon Public Schools. So we've had lots of competition with, with choice and charter and private. 20 years ago, the district had more than 7,000 students. Today, that number sits at around 3,600. So it's really being smart and being really uh, uh, fiscally responsible with the space and with the money we have. Thursday night, we learned exactly what fiscally responsible means to the district as they are proposing the closure of three elementary schools. But also the transition of, of our district. So there are going to be uh, three other buildings that will close. That will be Moon, that will be Oakview, but that will be Marquette. Two elementary schools will remain, Lakeside and the newly named Forest View, which will be housed at the existing middle school. The current middle school will move to the Nelson Elementary Building. Muskegon High School would not be changed under the proposed plan. It's going to be hard to have some kids that maybe are walking you know, and, and aren't going to be able to do that now. Some people at the meeting expressed concern about the sweeping changes. I think it, you'll have to you know, move away from what you know as far as your neighborhood is concerned and you potentially will have to get reacclimated and different things to, for expectations in different, different locations. District leaders say some of the schools affected would not close for at least a couple years. They also added that no teacher jobs would be cut. Nick? All right, Almer, thank you very much.